Let's look at verses 35 through 36 of Mark 10. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him saying, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? Grant us that we may sit, one on your right hand and the other on your left, in your glory. James and John are fully aware that Christ is about to suffer, that he is currently suffering, as he already described to them. And what they ask of him is when he's done with his suffering, that they may sit. They want to sit in a place of honor. They want to sit in glory while the whole time being unwilling to enter into the path of their Savior themselves. They want Christ to go through his baptism of sufferings. They want to get everything they could out of it all, but they don't want to enter in themselves. I believe this is the spirit of so much of what calls itself the church in our day. Let's not look all around without first examining our own hearts. Verse 38, but Jesus said to them, you do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? Notice that Christ is already drinking the cup. Christ is already being baptized. This is not something he's putting off to some future time. He's already denying himself and taking up his cross daily. This is not something that Jesus only experienced in his last days. The passion of Christ was the entirety of his incarnation. The passion of Christ was the entirety of his earthly life. Christ was drinking the cup and he was baptized into the baptism for his whole life as he lived in obedience to the Father from the manger to the cross. This is the life of the Christian. It's not at some obscure time in the future. You have to drink the cup today. You have to be baptized in this baptism today. Verse 39, they say we are able. Jesus knows they don't understand what he means by drinking of his cup, but he knew that if they would continue to follow him, they would indeed drink the cup and they would indeed be baptized with this baptism because you cannot truly be a follower of Christ without doing so. Christ makes it clear that it's a call to them as individuals. They cannot be granted to sit in his glory without drinking of the cup and being baptized with the baptism. They must individually enter in. In order to truly be a follower of Christ, we are to be present tense, drinking the cup he drinks. We are to be present tense, baptized with the baptism he's baptized with, denying yourself, taking up your cross daily and following after Christ. We cannot refuse to enter in and expect another to grant us that we may sit on the right hand of Christ and share in his glory. Every cup and every baptism into Christ will look different for each individual in the way that God has prepared for each individual. That's why verse 40 says this, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared. God has prepared a life of cups to drink for you. God has prepared a lifetime of being baptized into this baptism. In his infinite wisdom, he has crafted it. We cannot refuse it any longer. We must present tense drink of this cup. We must present tense be baptized with this baptism. Christian believer, see this. Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. Therefore, you're buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life for if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Have you truly been baptized into Christ Jesus? Have you truly been baptized into his death? Are you truly walking in newness of life? 
Have you been united together in the likeness of his death? Have you been united together in the likeness of his resurrection? In order to truly be a follower of Christ, we must presently drink of the cup daily, be baptized into his death daily, take up our cross daily, be a servant daily, be a slave of all daily, give our lives a ransom for many daily. And this is what it means to drink of his cup. And this is what it means to be baptized into his baptism.